<laughs> well, we can easily drop that down. Let's make another one. Hi, friends. Ava here. Hi, Aurum here. And and today we're here with another cool experiment. Today I'm going to be demonstrating the concept of nuclear fission in this easy and fun science experiment using dominoes. If you're new to the channel, kindly smash that red subscribe button and turn it gray. Um, and click the bell icon so you don't miss any um, new videos that we upload. Today, we have the ultimate domino maze you can see over there. And all the way over, there's even dominoes all the way over here. And when we actually knock down the last domino, we'll fall off the edge. Let's be very careful because you know every sudden touch of any domino can make that a chain. Re Try to stay as still as possible. Can we still knock it? Now we have the ultimate domino maze. You can see all of it. We we actually built two mazes and connected it and. Moved here we have five dominoes stacked up and let's see when what happens when we touch one of them they all knock down do you know why is the reason for that it's because when you pick up a domino like this it has a gravitational potential energy and when you put more dominoes and when you push one it transfers its gravitational potential energy to the next domino, which transfers it to the next domino and sets, uh, and sets a chain reaction. This is why they keep on falling down. model I built to demonstrate uncontrolled nuclear fission. Nuclear fission is when a neutron hits an atom and the atom splits into more neutrons and it releases heat energy. Those neutrons hit more atoms which also split into more neutrons and they also release heat energy. And this heat energy can be used to make electricity. Now, let's see what happens, what uncontrolled nuclear fission looks like. So, what you just saw was an uncontrolled nuclear fission chain reaction. And it is used in atomic bombs. It generates lots of radiation and it's very dangerous. And in the next model, we're going to demonstrate controlled nuclear fission. Controlled nuclear fission is used in nuclear reactors, and it uses control rods to control the nuclear process. And now we're going to demonstrate a control chain reaction by placing a pencil in the middle. We're going to use the pencil as a control rod to try to control the chain reaction. And let's see if it works. So as you can see, the, the last two rows didn't fall down. 
And that's because when we use this pencil to control the chain reaction, the dominoes after the pencil didn't fall down. But when it was an uncontrolled chain reaction, all of the dominoes fell down. This is how the reactors work with the control rods. Here's another model to demonstrate the controlled nuclear chain reaction. Except in this one, there's, we, there's still some dominoes from the second and third row, which we didn't block. We only block these dominoes. So the dominoes still could fall to the end because we didn't block the row completely. And you can see the reaction, how it was different. A nuclear reactor is built with the control rods in place to stop an uncontrolled chain reaction. And when in engineers want to start a nuclear reaction, they slowly remove the control rods and fire a neutron into an atom, which breaks in two and releases three more neutrons and starts a chain reaction. And when researchers want to stop the chain reaction, they put the control rods back in place. If you, and if you guys have dominoes in your house, there's an easy and fun experiment you can do using them. And hope you had fun doing it. Bye, friends. Bye. And don't forget to click the icon bell so you, so then you won't miss any new and, notifications. And subs. Subs and to the channel.